Hello. One of the questions that I often get asked is how do you deal with blisters on your hands when you're chopping? How do you keep chopping when you when that happens? Well, it's very simple. Um, you don't want to put tape only on the front of your hand. You want to use coach's tape or leucoplast. And what you want to do is like, say for example, you've got one right here in the crotch of your hand. Okay, that's where the handle slides. And so you want to take a piece of coach's tape. Then what you do is, depending upon which side it is, you want to tear it. And after you've got it torn for a good bit, what you do, separate it, okay? And then hang it somewhere. Take your hand where the tear is at. Put it over top of your hand. Okay? Then wrap it around to where it's covering the entire blister. Okay? And then all you have to do is give it a couple wraps with the tape over your wrist to hold the area or to hold what you've torn. All right? And so this will cover up that area effectively and it enables it to where it'll stay in place. Only use one wrap over top of the blister in order to keep it from um, uh, coming off. You've got to cover around your whole hand in order to keep it from sliding or moving. Uh, and you can do the same thing with ones that are on your hands. What you do is you, you, you dovetail it around your finger in order to keep it in place, in order to... Uh, uh, so you can continue to chop and compete or whatever. But that's just a, a little tip that I've learned over the years. Another thing that I've learned is in order to toughen your hands, in order for the handles, believe it or not, uh, dog saliva or alamaze actually have the dog lick your hand and then just rub it together. It somehow that toughens your hands. I don't know how it does, but it does. It works for me. Um, good luck. I hope that works.